Foreign Secretary General Antonio Guterres has left for New York from Kathmandu after officially concluding a four-day visit to Nepal. According to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Defence Purna Bahadur Khadka bid him farewell at the VVIP lounge of the Tribhuvan International Airport. During his visit, Guterres addressed the joint session of Nepal's federal parliament that called on the government to ensure transitional justice, keeping the victims at the centre. At the end of the century's long monarchy, the government in 2006 had signed a peace accord that ensured transitional justice. However, no significant steps have been taken in that direction as yet. Suggesting measures to make the effort focusing on the victims, Guterres also extended support to drive the progress and find solutions. And you are preparing the final stages of our Nepal-led peace process, healing the wounds of war through transitional justice. A process to bring peace to victims, families and communities haunted by questions and scared by injustice, and they'll put the past to rest. During his visit, Guterres engaged in a range of high-level discussions. Guterres also met with key figures in the Nepalese government, including President Ram Chandra Paudal and Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dehel. Transitional justice can play a vital role in securing lasting peace. But we all know it's not easy. By nature, it's a delicate and complex process. We know that transitional justice has the greatest chance of success when it is inclusive, comprehensive, and has victims at its heart. When it centers on truth, reparation, and justice, when women participate fully, and when all victims of human rights violations can find meaningful redress. And I welcome efforts here in Nepal to drive progress and find solutions in this regard. And I want to tell you, you are not alone. The United Nations, respecting the Nepalese leadership of this process, stands ready, stands ready to support you with your victim-centered process and its implementation in line with international standards, your own Supreme Court's rulings. Several people lost their lives and many others were injured in the landmines planted during the insurgency. The transitional justice process, however, has failed to accommodate them. Even the 11th committee member, which comprises representatives from different parties, has not been able to ensure justice. <laughs>